Okay, we're here. We've got our reheated coffee as per usual. Today, we're gonna hang out and chat about some Amazon goodies, some of my faves. I spent the better part of my morning today re like basically overhauling my entire Amazon storefront, which if you've never clicked over there, I'll put the link right at the top of the description box here. But if you've never been over there, it's where I have all of the favorites I've mentioned on Amazon that I love from the past five years, let's say, organized by category. But today I went through, I recategorized, I deleted some categories, um, just restructured it. And I also deleted a lot of old listings, things that I've maybe replaced with something better. And then I added in a whole bunch of new stuff, some of which we're gonna be talking about in this video. So definitely worth checking out if you do purchase anything after clicking on the storefront link or through any of my links down below, cause I will have everything separately linked. Um, I might make a small commission that does support my channel. So thank you ahead of time if you decide to click on any of that. So let's do it. <laughs> I have nothing else to say in the intro. All right, I've got my list typed up here. Let's start with some fashion items. Okay, first thing, have you heard of the Rothy's shoes? So I went through a period a few years ago where I bought a pair. They are the kind of shoes that are super flexible and comfortable. You can literally almost fold them up, but they're great because they um, are super flexible. So they're really comfortable on the feet, like I said. So. Problem was I could not get a size that fit my feet right. I have slightly wider feet. Well, all of a sudden now Amazon has a dupe and it is a lot cheaper that like, I think these were around 25 to $30. The Rothy's ones are like around a hundred, if not more. Having tried the Rothy's and tried these, I cannot detect a difference. Now I don't currently have the Rothy's to like face to face, but you guys, I am telling you, if you've always wanted to try the name brand, maybe give these a try if you can't swing that price tag. I bought the size eight, which is my like half size up size, but it's still a little too narrow. So I might try, I know they have an eight and a half, but it's only in some of the colorways. So I might bump it up another half inch and see, but either way, they have a bunch of different colors. They have like red, black, leopard. They have black with like a beige toe, which is really cute. Um, Anyway, worth looking at, especially if you, I mean, who wouldn't wanna save money? And again, like it's one of those trendy shoes. Also flats are back, baby. I've seen too many articles that are like, flats are coming back. I'm like, I didn't know they ever left. I've loved flats all along. <laughs> but cheers to flats being back. By the way, if you are enjoying this and you are new to my channel, like maybe this is the first video of mine you've ever clicked on, I really, really hope you'll check out some of my other videos. I hope you'll subscribe and join our little family here. My name is Jessica, by the way, I don't think I said that. I do a lot of vlogs, we just hang out. I'm your online bestie, I'd love to be your online bestie. So definitely stick around, I hope that you will. Okay, next thing. Okay, these are the earrings I'm wearing. This is a six pack on Amazon. I feel like these are the kind of earrings that are really big right now where they're like a little bit, they're still small, they're like medium sized, you know what I mean, between small and medium. And they're like a little bit thicker. They're not perfectly like all the same size. I love them. I love how like they just dangle. I think they're so feminine and pretty. It came in a six pack and all of the pairs in this specific six pack are really, really cute. I wear all of them. This is just definitely my favorite pair, the one I go to the most. Pretty inexpensive. Do I think these are gonna last me like four or five years? I guess time will tell. I will say this, one of my favorite Amazon jewelry brands is Pav, Pav, I'm gonna butcher the spelling. I'll link that like shop on Amazon because that brand, not this brand, but that brand, that jewelry feels like it's gonna last a very long time. It feels a lot more high quality, but it's still not crazily priced. So I'll link that because I've bought, I mean, a lot of jewelry on there from that brand and I really, really like it. But I do love these so much. Okay, you can make fun of me if you want to, but I love this little anklet. <laughs> For a few reasons. One, let's bring anklets back. Two, it's multicolor and it makes me think of my childhood. It's stretchy. Hold on, I gotta let Pinocchio in, hold on. So slowly. Come on, buddy boy, come here. All right, refocus. Anyway, I love this one. I feel like it's kind of overpriced even on Amazon for what it is, but I had to mention it because it's just one of those things that I have worn almost every day for the past like month or two. And it just brings me so much joy. Like I'll literally wear it with like joggers and tennis shoes. And I, <laughs> I think it's cute. I almost forgot to, I'm literally adding this to my list cause I can't believe I almost didn't mention these. 
the jogger legging hybrid. I know I've talked about in a past video, but if you are new to my channel or you've just never heard me speak of these, this is the number one seller almost every week from my like storefront and from my links I share with you guys. If you took joggers and mix them with a legging, you get these and they are not expensive. They have every color under the sun and they are so comfortable. So think about it. It's basically a legging top. So it kind of sucks you in, but it's still comfy. It's super elastic, but then the bottoms are just ever so slightly looser and they gather at the ankle like a jogger does. It is the most genius hybrid pants ever. And I cannot get over how, like, how have we not thought of this previously? So I love them so much. I know so many of you guys have bought them and love them too. You own them in multiple colors. I get it. So I, I couldn't do this video in good conscience and not mention those. Like, honestly, if you buy one thing, that might be it. All right, so let's talk beauty now. So I finally found the best nail glue on Amazon, I think. It's the Glamnetic brand. I've tried all of the other brands. It's the best one. And so I literally, I bought one, kind of tried it out, and then just fell in love. It, it, I don't know what it is. It really is different than the other brands that I've tried. Like it almost feels like a different formula, <laughs> which I mean, they all have the brush applicator, et cetera. But anyway, if you're looking for one for like an emergency nail situation or just to use with your like press-ons, that would be a good one. My beloved L'Oreal eight second wonder water. This stuff, I can't believe it was it, like until this year that I finally discovered this product. It's basically a detangling tonic. You will put it in your hair, maybe you've shampooed your hair and you're still in the shower. You put it in there like from here down. It will instantly, well, after eight seconds, it will detangle the hair. Like you will feel the tangles. It's like they fall out, not literally, but you know what I mean. It is the wildest sensation. Be careful, don't let it get in your eye. It says like, I don't think you need to use it every time. I don't even know that you're supposed to. I use it every few washes. Um, or if it's just one of those days that I'm like, oh my gosh, like I curled my hair a bunch and it just is tangly. But that stuff is unreal. <laughs> unreal, and you can get it on Amazon. All right, so speaking of like curling, curling my hair, um, I tried out this new like half an inch tiny curling wand on Amazon. And I'll show you a clip of what my hair looked initially, like what it looked like initially when I was done with it. And then um, I'll show you another clip maybe a day or two later where it had kind of like been combed through a little bit more, slept on, and it looked really nice by day two. Day one hair was a lot. I've since messed with it a little bit more since that vlog where you saw me try it. And I really like it, but I have naturally kind of curly wavy hair. And if I just use the right products and like diffuse my hair, my hair can kind of look like that on its own. So it kind of made me realize that I'm missing doing my hair like that. So anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point is it works. If you want to give your hair the look of like natural curls, especially if you really do a good job brushing through it, that will do it. Like it's really neat that you can create that with a tool. So I wanted to mention it because it's not very expensive and it work, It just works really, really well. So one of those tools that I feel like is unique that might not be for everyone, but it just might be for you. <laughs> Cause like this hair, I use like a large curling wand to just give it like the to tousled like look. I don't know how else to describe it. I discovered a new vitamin C serum I'm really liking. It's from the brand Timeless Skincare. So I watched, I fell down the rabbit hole on YouTube of watching videos on vitamin C serums and them being compared and people pH testing them because the pH te uh, level for vitamin C actually really matters when it comes to like how effective the vitamin C, like how stable it will be. I don't fully understand the science, but Point is, this was one that consistently did really well along with the May Love Glow Maker, which is my other favorite. This one I got on Amazon and I am loving it. It really honestly is just like the May Love Glow Maker and they're right around the same price point. But yeah, I was excited to just try a new one and this one is really nice. The way I work vitamin C into my skincare routine is first thing in the morning. It's, it's what touches my skin first before going in with SPF and then makeup. And when I'm not using vitamin C versus when I am is a huge difference. Like the redness on my skin looks so much more evened out when I'm using it. Um, I tend to get freckles. I feel like that's a little more evened out. My skin just looks brighter. It, it really is amazing. I hadn't been using vitamin C regularly uh, the past few months until I bought this and I was missing it. 
Okay, I mentioned this in my current faves. I think that was the video. The Healthy Feet Cream. 10 out of 10. It will improve your beautiful feet. Um, it will make them so moisturized. It takes just a few nights of applying it and they, your feet will be different. I've never looked back. <laughs> I've never looked back. It is so incredible. And I'll literally like put it on my feet after I'm all clean, I'm getting into bed and whatever's left, I'll kind of rub on my knees and elbows. Cause I just figure those are other areas that can tend to be dry. Um, I don't know if you should do that or not, but that's just what I do. <laughs> But it's great. It's like even the lid is really well thought through. It's kind of got a grippy lid. So if your hands are greasy or whatever, it's easy to open and close still. And it's got something magical in it. And I was reading through a lot of blogs like about <laughs> foot cream. Because <laughs> you know when you get to that point where you're like, okay, I'm tired of trying all these different things. I want to find the one. That's always the hunt I'm on, right? That's the hunt we're all on. I think I found the one. It's so good. So it's it's highly rated on a lot of other like blogs and stuff too, foot blogs. Okay, this spray bottle. I recently have also been trying the Shark hair tool. And with that, it's like the one that's the blow dryer and curler in one. It's a Dyson dupe. I really, really like it. And honestly, it makes my hair look similar to this. This, I just blow dry my hair and then curled it with a wand. Very, very similar vibe. Um, but... With that, your hair needs to be like 90% dry, but you need it to be a little damp. And this spray bottle has the most amazing, I just filled it with regular water. It has the most amazing like mister. I use it for Genevieve's hair too when I'm pulling it back. You know, she's four going on five and she's, her hair is just always a mess. So it's always helpful to get a little water in there when I'm pulling her hair back to help a little bit. I mean, she's just at that age where she's got everything still growing in. Listen, when I was in kindergarten, <laughs> Side note, when I was in kindergarten, I used to be called lion because I would want my hair to be pulled back in a ponytail, but I had all this new growth right around the like, frame of my face. All of it would stick out like a lion's mane. Kindergartners are creative, um, but it's so sweet because Genevieve is, is going through that right now and she's got the same thing. And I'm like, I swear if any kid calls her lion. <laughs> so anyway, it's just so sweet because her little hair Z's are growing in. She's mommy's girl. Okay, this will be the unsung hero in your makeup bag, this makeup remover pen. If you get mascara, liner, whatever, somewhere on your face you don't want it. Like a lot of times I'll get it up there or I'll get liner or like I'll be putting mascara on, it gets all messy. Or you're wanting to clean up like a little winged liner, just use the edge of this and wipe it with the pen and it just, whoa. It is, it's something that I've used for years and I love this brand because in the back of it, there's replacement heads for it. There's like four or five replacement heads. So as it dries out or gets too dirty, you throw that one away, pop the next one on. So it'll last you quite a while, but it is, like I said, it is an unsung hero. I use that thing every single day. It travels with me too. Okay. One thing I wasn't going to mention, but I, I want to throw in here at the end of the beauty section is my favorite concealer. It's the Catrice True Skin Concealer. It is the best. You can only get it on Amazon if you live in the States. I, you can, I think, maybe buy it on the Catrice's website. But anyway, it's like $7. It's my favorite concealer. It is so good. It's medium coverage. It's creamy. It blends in. It doesn't crease a crazy amount, like no more than other concealers that I like. It's just, There's something about it. And I wouldn't typically mention a bunch of makeup products, but since that one is almost exclusive to Amazon, if you will. I wanted to mention it in this because it is, mm, I love it. All right, let's talk travel and on the go items. So first up is this collapsible cord organizer for your phone charger. So like this one specifically I'm using for my MacBook Pro where, you know, I've got the big old brick, but I can pop it on there. It's stuck to it. I was gonna say permanently, I could pry it off, but you know what I mean? It stays on there and it will pop in and out and you can wrap your cord around it. It is so genius because anytime I've ever gone to like a coffee shop to work and I bring my charger and cord, that cord's just sticking out and around. Like it's just flying crazy. <laughs> it's just nice to be able to wrangle it and it's got little grooves where I can stick the ends in it if I want. It's really one of those simple inventions that is so smart. Um, I think they have this style of thing for a lot of different things. So if you start clicking around on there, you'll find things for everything to kind of wrap your cord up. I had to get out of there cause I was like, I'm going to end up buying one of these for every electronic I own. <laughs> okay. This portable phone tripod. I have this one right here cause I was using it yesterday to film a, um, brand spot for Instagram story, like an Instagram reel. What am I talking about? 
Point is, um, this is genius. I heard about this from Taylor Wynn. So it is a phone tripod, right? And it can go vertically or horizontally, but it pushes all the way down. It has a little remote. I actually haven't used this and hooked it up yet with Bluetooth, but it's a remote to like start your thing. And it sticks in there, which is so nice. So then you don't have to go searching for it. But this is how small it gets. But then when you actually go to open it, you guys, this thing gets to standing, at least for me, I'm five foot, what am I, five foot five-ish? Yeah, I mean, this is so tall, so, so tall. You can't even see the tip of it, it's so tall. So amazing, even if you're doing a standing shot for whatever, it's incredible. If you are someone that makes content, get this. It's sturdier than any of the like nicer-ish ones I've gotten for my phone, I'm like, and so a lot of times like I would trade off and get my regular like nice tripod I use like for my camera camera and switch the head on it. But I'm like, I don't know why that annoys me so much, but it just does. I wanted something separate and this has been the answer. It is so great. It is weirdly strong. Um, I think they have a couple colors as well. Also works great. We were getting a family photo recently and we had this, literally we were out and about and we brought it intentionally and we were able, able to get a really nice photo with this on the go. <laughs> okay, so the silicone sponge holder. I got so tired of like, if I had my makeup bag and I were out and about or traveling and my sponge is in there, usually it's a little bit damp. It's got makeup on it from that morning, whatever. Having this little holder is perfect and I love that it's made of silicone so it's really, really flexible. I've had sponge holders in the past that are more rigid and it just doesn't work. You might have a sponge that's not the right shape or it, it's just too rigid and so this has been the answer. I can't believe it took this long for something like this to be figured out. What is going on up there? On that same vein, the silicone brush holder is a genius idea and I still recommend it if you're someone that doesn't carry around a lot of brushes with you, like when you're traveling, but I'm waiting for them to make one that's double the size. Why is it so small? Like most people carry more than like three or four brushes. So a lot of times I will just adjust what brushes I'm bringing to be able to fit in there. And I have brushes I just use for multiple things, blah, blah, blah. But point is, I am sure the day is coming that they will make that bigger because it is so nice, it's easy to clean. Again, I have the same like beige color as the brush holder, so they're kind of like a matching set. I finally found the hanging organizer of my dreams. I've tried every, I swear I feel like I've tried every brand. This is the one that is so well thought out and really, really sturdy, and it's not very expensive on Amazon. Something about this, first of all, you can fit a ton, like you could fit a ton of full size products in this. So if you're bringing travel size, you can really fit a lot in this thing. It'll still zip up, the hanger's really sturdy, but it also has like an outside pocket to it where I put my travel mirror. Um, I can link my favorite travel mirror down below. I'm pretty sure that's one. If I'm thinking of the right one, it's one I bought on Amazon that's like thinner. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just so well thought out. You can fit so much. I like that there's mesh pockets to like kind of hold things into it, but then there's an area in front of each of the larger sections to put other things if you want. I just love it. I can't believe how, I, I was gonna say genius it is, but it, it doesn't look that different than other hanging organizers, but there's something about, about the setup of this one that's been better than the other like six or seven that I've tried in the past. Cause you know, they're all just like slightly different. <laughs> okay, one of the best sellers when I talk about my Amazon favorites, like out of the links that I share with you guys, one of the best sellers is the makeup bag that unfolds all the way. They have so many different colors. I just got the plain like classy black, but they have like weave designs now, like a light purple that's really pretty. I'm like, dang. <laughs> it is genius because, I mean, think about it. If you're someone that does wear makeup and you're trying to get ready, having a makeup bag that actually lays flat where you can see everything, and I don't mean like lays flat like those, because those are great too. It's one that still corrals it all and still has some organization, but it just opens all the way so you can still see it all. Hopefully, well, you'll see the picture on the screen. I was like, I'm sure that will make sense, but I love it. I know so many of you guys love it as well, and then when you zip it back up, it becomes that perfect kind of square again. Let's talk home 
items. So first up is my laptop lap desk. I use this for, well, way more than my laptop. The reason this is genius is A, the, the whole cover for this zips off so you could wash it. So if you spill coffee or whatever on it, you can wash it. But also it has these raised little, I don't wanna say bars, but these raised areas so that air can get under your laptop. So it's not just sitting on something flat and overheating, etc. That is nice. It also has a little lip at the bottom so you can put your laptop or your book or whatever into that so it doesn't slide down. Like, you know, when you're like sitting here and it just starts sliding down onto your stomach, it'll actually stay put. It's just one of those things that was really well thought out, but it's still simple. I got like the cream color because I feel like it can just blend into my decor, but I can grab it whenever I need it. I keep mine next to my bed actually, because I use it even more often for like journaling. I'll flip it to the other side uh, and like reading the Bible. But it also has a convenient little handle on the side so you can just carry it around. Okay, you guys are gonna giggle. We bought a panini press. Remember when paninis were it? Like I feel like it was in the late 90s, early 2000s, paninis were a thing and everyone had a panini press and everyone was talking about it and it just kind of floated away as things do and no one talked about it probably everyone got rid of their panini presses well they're back baby we watched this new show called um animal control and it has joel McHale from like community and stuff and it's actually pretty good if you're looking for like a funny 25 minute type show it's sweet it's funny it's a good one if you if you're just looking for one they talk about how their office has a new panini press and how much they love the panini press and it makes me laugh so hard but then our best friends have had one for a while and they're like, oh my gosh, we use it all the time for sandwiches and like, um, ta not tacos, but like quesadillas. And I'm like, what? So I finally got on Amazon, bought one. I thought about like investing in like a super nice one. I was like, Jessica, you don't even know if you're gonna like it or use it. So I got just kind of a, a baseline, good standard one. We've used it a couple times. When I tell you that that thing elevated my traditional, just regular old deli sandwich to something that was out of this world, it was the same sandwich I make, but having it toasted and warmed and the whole thing was warmed through, oh my gosh, my lunch was just like, wow, 40% better, maybe 50% better. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, especially if you're someone that like, you know you would use it, maybe you eat sandwiches a lot, or I'm thinking like, maybe we can do our crunch wraps on there when we make crunch wraps at home. I don't know. This one though, I will say, if you buy the one I linked, I do feel like you need to just turn it all the way up heat wise, cause we were trying it on like a medium setting and it just took a while. And we were like, all right, you know, come on, we're ready to eat this sandwich. And we kept trying it that way. So next time I'm just gonna blast it and see how long it takes. Um, but so good. All right, I have two like kitchenware, barware, if you will, things. One of them are our favorite glass cups. So these just look so like Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn-esque, just like nice, elevated, kind of trendy. We use them every day though, for just like water, juice, whatever it is we're drinking. And it's it just feels so elevated. And these were not very expensive. They dishwash really well. We've had ours for probably seven or eight months, maybe longer, and I just love them. I think they're so pretty, they're useful, they seem to be really durable. We haven't broken any of them, knock on wood. I tend to break things. But the other thing we very recently got were these wine glasses, and I thought these were so cool. I was thinking about making like, um, like pouring kombucha into them, because we've really cut back on drinking and drinking wine and all that stuff, and that's a story for another day and I know I've touched on it, but my point is even using those for just like a weeknight with kombucha in it or like a mocktail or just pour your, pour your Sprite or your sparkling water into it, why not? But they just look so fancy and they're so pretty and I, I just love them, I love them so much. Okay, why is this whoosh screen cleaner better than anything I've ever used? I don't know what it is in this product, but I bought it and it came with like a full size and then like a little travel size, which is great. Cause think about when you're traveling, especially like with what I do, I need to keep my screen somewhat clean because I vlog on my phone sometimes, etc. That stuff works so well on computers, laptops, tablets, your phone, like shockingly well. And the little cloth that comes with is really nice. So I wanted to kind of throw that in here because it's something I'm consistently using and I am so wowed by. Whoosh. 
Okay, I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again because it's one of those weird problem solvers in your life that someone needs to tell you about. <laughs> so it is this over the door laundry bag. We have it just on our like coat closet that's like our personal coat closet where we have like the vacuums are in there. It just hangs on the back of the door or the inside of the door. And that's where all of our like kitchen towels when they're dirty go. If we've got like a bathroom towel dirty from downstairs, like our powder room, things like that go in there. And once a week I just grab it and I, you can unzip the bottom and dump it in the washer that way. It is so simple and so smart. Previously, I don't even remember what we were doing. Cause that's the thing. We would consistently have like dirty things at the bottom of our stairs to be brought up to the laundry room or they would just be, so it's so nice to have a place for them. It's totally out of the way. It's utilizing a space we weren't really using. And it's also out of sight, which is nice too. It's one of those little problem solvers. You're welcome. Okay. If you are someone that uses an external hard drive for photos, videos, um, whether you're like a content creator or not, doesn't matter. This little one I learned about from our editors and now Tyler has one too. And we are both incredulous. It is small, really thin from the brand SanDisk. And it, I think you can get one terabyte, two terabytes, and maybe more or less than that too. But the thing is we've gone through a lot of external hard drives in our life. And most of them are much bigger than this for the same amount of terabytes or le like less. This one is so compact. So if you just don't want a big honking thing, but you want a place to store your photos and videos safely, like maybe it's family stuff, especially if you get like two terabytes, you will never run out of room if it's just personal use, but they're so small. I just can't get over it. It's so, so small. So I wanted to throw that in here because it's one of those random like amazing things that exists. All right, lastly, we're gonna do kids and baby items. So I only have a few. First up are these name tag labels. If you have a kid that goes to daycare, preschool, babysitter that has other kids there, school, whatever, and they need things labeled. I was just writing on them and there's nothing wrong with that. I still have written on multiple things that we own, but these you can personalize right there on Amazon. So it's super easy. And so I've got them for Felicity and Genevieve and they are like, you can dishwash them, you can machine wash them. So if you're putting them on clothes or on cups, now we have not had them for a wildly long time. So I don't know for sure that they will last forever and ever and ever. Supposedly they last really well. I mean, it's not like I need it to last 10 years, but you know what I mean? Um, but it comes with enough that even if after 10 washes in the dishwasher, it started to peel up or fade or something, I, I'll just put another one on it. You know what I mean? So I just think that's nice. So then you're not writing on it. Plus like for me, I've got two girls and some of them, like some of the items will probably get passed down to Felicity and it'd be nice to just have to peel up a sticker instead of having to like cross out a name and re <laughs> especially jackets. Like I feel like stuff like that is definitely gonna be passed down anyway. Okay, the most utilized item for our little one-year-old Felicity is this like cup catcher. I don't know what else to call it. Basically this silicone stretchy thing that it'll stretch around your bottle, sippy cup, straw cup, whatever. And then the other piece of it, you can just tie it around your high chair, your stroller, your car seat. So if they're in that stage that we're in right now where she takes her drinks and then she just throws it on the ground, it will just bounce around and then just like stop. And now she's learned to kind of pull it back up, which is just cute. <laughs> but it's so genius. We own two of them. We keep one in the diaper bag. So if we're at a restaurant, that's another big thing or traveling. So, so nice to have. So it's not just rolling around on the floor. Um, you could of course use it on some toys depending on it. I have also bought these things called secure a toy. I can link below if you're looking for more of like a toy specific catcher um, that are a little bit easier on, like easier to connect to a toy. I'll link those too. Cause those are like a couple dollars. So bibs that a one-year-old can't pull off. <laughs> I don't remember this being a problem with Genevieve. Maybe it was, it was long enough ago. I just don't remember. But she, Felicity, just pulls those bibs right off. So I was like, okay, I have all these cutesy ones and they worked really well the first like 12 months. Now we're at the point where they just don't. If they're Velcro, she, she will get it off. So we found these ones that are like three for eight bucks and they're that silicone, they clean and dry so easily, so easily. But they look like the, um, I think the Oxitot ones we love, but those are Velcro, so she pulls them off. They look just like that, but the attachment around her neck is one where she has to like, we have to poke the thing through a hole so she can't get them off. It is so perfect, you guys. I can't tell you how many green beans and blueberries and carrots it has caught. <laughs> 
amazing. So last thing, I've tried a lot of like the sleeper brands out there. And by the way, if you're watching this and you are pregnant, you know someone who's pregnant, you're just in the baby stage, whatever, maybe you're a grandparent buying for someone that's about to have a baby or there is a baby. I have done pretty recently a what to put on your baby registry list slash like what to get a baby or what to get someone that's about to have a baby video. And it I was very thorough and I spent a lot of time on that. So if you wanna watch that video for a lot more, I'll link it below because it is a treasure trove. And I also have on my Amazon storefront link below the baby section and the pregnancy section, but the baby section on there, another wealth of products that are like tried and true that I love and recommend. But I've tried a lot of the like famous jammy brands for babies that are like that stretchy bamboo. I like a lot of them. I've tried the Kite Baby ones. I've tried the Little Sleepies. I think I've tried the Posh Peanut. They're all really good. They're all really similar, you guys. The one thing I will say is the Little Sleepies brand, Felicity still fits in her three to six. I didn't even realize. I saw a picture of her wearing a three to six month one, like her pink jammies that she, she was wearing last night. And I thought, well, I didn't buy two of those. And I'm looking, I go look the size. I'm like, this is a three month. They're so stretchy. It hasn't even seemed uncomfortable on her. They're, they're just, that's the way they are. So, and if you read reviews for them, that's what everyone says. Like, these are crazy. Like you will be able to wear it for a year, maybe longer. So I love the Little Sleepies brand. They only have a few patterns on Amazon. So I'll link what they do have. But another one I'm really liking, and they seem to be very similar, but they're like, almost half the price if you use like a coupon they'll sometimes have is the Night Nights brand. They're the same like bamboo, viscose, like wildly stretchy kind, but these I think are $30, which I know sounds like a lot, but then they'll have a 20% off coupon. Like I literally today just bought another one because I bought a purple one that was so cute. Uh, and I just bought the pink one uh, because they were 20% off. So that knocks it down to what? $24, which for the kind where it's gonna last you forever it seems, I think it's worth it, but that's, you know, dealer's choice. But I really am liking those and they seem really similar to the Little Sleepies, but for slightly cheaper. And they have the same thing where, where the foot is. You can either have it as a footie where it goes over the foot or you can undo it. So like we've got a kid that's just about to walk. So when she's out and about, we take that out so she can have her feet out and she's not slipping and sliding. So I love that option. I wish more Footy Pajamas had that option for this age where it's like 12 to 18 months and a lot of them start to walk. Anyway, I think I covered everything. I've done a lot of these Amazon favorites videos. I have an entire playlist if you wanna catch my last one or two that I've done. Tyler, are you out inside? Oh, he's in the car. I literally thought Tyler was in the kitchen and I'm seeing the car backing up. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Is he doing this? Okay. Yeah, so if you wanna see some of those past videos, I try not to repeat anything, so those are definitely worth looking at. Thank you guys so much ahead of time. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Comment below, what is something on Amazon that you discovered that you were like, I cannot live without? I wanna know what it is. I might be adding it to my car. <laughs> Especially, can you leave links and comments? It might flag it. Um, do your best, you know, like, let me know what it is. I'll try to find it on Amazon because I, I love hearing about those kinds of random things people find that you're like, I now I can't live without it. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next one.